Hey, what's up? Dizzle, Kaboom, man, what's going on? I thought everybody was supposed to be here for the party. What's going on? Oh, we've got some bad news for you. Yeah, they thought you were building us in Sandbox, so they left. Not today. <laughs> Hey, what is up everybody? It's Haskins here today with another awesome build tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you step by step and exactly how to put together this custom beachside home that I built right here in our Craftopia survival world. Now, if you don't already have it, this is the Beachy Boulevard bundle. This can be bought right now for 1900 V-Bucks. Also, special shout out to T Dizzle and Kaboom for being the only two to join my bonfire party tonight. Now, they also make some YouTube content and their videos are absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna link their channels in the description. And last but certainly not least, special shout out to The Modernist for this really cool lighthouse design. Link to that video is in the description as well. Let's get into the build. All right, so first thing, you're gonna want 800 wood to complete all of the things I'm gonna be showing you in this tutorial. Next, the other important thing here is if you wanna take advantage of all of the components in this build, you're gonna wanna have this built up against the water like I'm showing you here. Now, make sure you find a good flat area in the shore biome for this. You do not wanna be building up against hills like I'm showing you over there. So in order to find where you're gonna begin building this structure, a good rule of thumb is just grab a beachy wall four or any wall with the same dimensions. This is a two by 16 by 12. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your first wall that you're putting down here is very close to the water. And then we're gonna build these out till we have six walls. So that would be two, three, four, five and six so these walls are not going to be a part of the main structure this was just simply to show you how to get the distance between the water and the front of your build we will be starting with these beachy archways so the first one just make sure it's close to these walls the other thing is you're going to want to make sure that you have enough land here that's wide to accept six of these across because that's how the build's going to start and then once you have that going you can knock all of these walls out Okay, so for the first step of this build, we're gonna take this beachy arch. This can be found under the wall section all the way towards the bottom in the arches section. Now, this is gonna be six wide, so we're gonna drop down our first one. And then before we actually uh, put all of these in, I like to take a step back just to make sure that where it's gonna be set is going to look good with the location that I'm building in. I feel like this is gonna be a really good spot for it. So we'll go proceed with continuing this build. Now, again, we're gonna snap in six of these all together. And because it's nighttime, we're gonna have to deal with these uh, pesky little skeletons. Let's take care of him real fast. Thank you. All right, so this next part is extremely important because if you look here, we're placing this next support to build out the other way. You can tell that it's actually lower than the current piece that we have in place. We do not want that. So I'm gonna show you how to overcome that. This is very common when building on uneven grounds. So again, pay close attention. All right, so we're gonna take the beachy wide floor too, and we're gonna snap this in just like that. But we wanna make sure that we're leaving a space uh, without the floor covering up the front here, because that's where we're gonna be placing our railings here shortly. And you wanna leave this little 90 degree space as well. Now, this is important to do it like this because now you can snap into the bottom of the floor here, just like that. And it is now evenly built, even though this was lower. Now you can see there's a slight little gap underneath there, but that's fine. No one's gonna really notice that. If you're really picky, you could put a little floor piece or some of the railings and snap them in underneath, but I don't think you really have to go that crazy with it. So now that we have that in, we can start building off to the left here. Now this is going to also be six. So we're gonna do, that'll be two, three, four, five. We're gonna have to get rid of this. Five, and then six. Now we can start uh, building our floors. We're gonna come up top here. And we're gonna take these beachy wide floor twos and we're gonna start making our way to the other end. Now, this is gonna hang over here. You do not wanna hang over. Like I always say, nobody likes a hangover. So we're gonna grab some other floor pieces here. So head back to the floor section. Now we're gonna start by using the uh, beachy wide floor one and we're gonna snap this right against there like that. Then we're gonna grab beachy floor one. We're gonna snap that in just like that. Uh, we're gonna do one of these. So this is the beachy thin floor one. So we're gonna do two of them like that. 
and then we're gonna grab a beachy thin floor three and we're gonna snap this just like that <clears throat> all right so now that the floors are in we can do the same thing on this side we're gonna go back to our beachy archways and again use recents if you're building stuff like this where you're repeating the same pieces over and over again make sure you leverage the recent parts instead of going through the menu for everything that you need all right, so now we're gonna grab this and we're gonna uh, slap this thing right underneath just like that. Again, make sure that that top has that little part that's uh, exposed. You don't want the whole thing covered. Now again, we're gonna do six of these. So that's gonna, I don't want an egg. So two, three, four, five, and six. So now that we have all our beachy support walls down, we're going to start to dress this up a bit. Now, don't be alarmed. You haven't missed anything. You are seeing some stuff in this build that's further on down the line. But I ended up losing the clip of dressing this up. So I'm going to redo it for you here right now. Now, we're going to start with this beachy pillar one. And we're going to line this up with the outside edge of the actual support walls that we put down. Now, a good rule of thumb is before you place that, make sure this little tan stripe at the bottom is close to lining up with that little piece that my head's right by right now. Now, the reason for this is you want these supports to be a decent height up off of the deck. You don't want them to be too tall or not. You also don't want them to be too short. So again, that's just a good rule of thumb. Now from here, it's very easy. All we're gonna do is snap these into one another to control and make sure that they're all even heights. And then we're gonna nudge it over until we're covering where the walls meet up completely like that. Now you're gonna repeat this process all the way across until all of these are covered up. All right. Now, one of these has to go, and that's because we're gonna be placing our stairs in that section. Now, the only reason I didn't have you leave this open is because, unfortunately, there is a limit to how far over you can nudge. And because you need to snap into these pieces to make sure they're all even heights like you're seeing right now, you have to do every single one of them. Now, in this particular build, we're gonna be putting the doorway right in the center. So I'm gonna come through here and I'm gonna knock this pillar out and we're gonna put our stairs in there. But before we do that, we're gonna finish off these pillars. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over to our walls and we're gonna grab these beachy corners. Now they're the solid white ones and we're just gonna snap this right in underneath to complete these pillars. Now at this point, you can continue to use the uh, supports that I did initially. However, I just found that doing them like this makes it look a little bit better and a lot more sturdy than when you're using the kind of designer posts for the bottom parts. All right, so now you just wanna go around and do that same exact step that I just showed you to all of the sides as well. And again, where you want your stairs to go is completely up to you. In this particular build, I'm deciding to put them up the center here in the front all right, so for the stairs, we're going to grab these beachy stairs and then you can have them to where they're red like this and just nudge them towards you until they turn green. That way, you know that they're touching directly up against your dock. And we're just going to move it over until we can see just half of where those walls meet up peeking out like you can see there on the right hand side. And we're going to place it down next. This is going to be too wide. So an easy way to snap these in is just aim into this corner and then hold snap mode and then boom, you're good to go. Now, if you wanna check your work before you move on to the next step, you can look at where these uh, stairs are meeting up in the front here. Just make sure this center part is lined up with the beam right behind it here. That's a good way to make sure your stairs are center. Now, if you want them offset, you can do that as well. And then the last thing we're gonna do is grab the BG railing too and just snap that right in here on the bottom like that. And now your stairs are complete. All right, so we're gonna finish the floors up top here. We're gonna go back to this beachy wide floor or two, and we're gonna start snapping these in all the way until we reach the back. Now, we're gonna actually stop right here just like that, and then we're gonna make our way over, and we're gonna build a box up the center. This is gonna be a nice guide, but again, nobody likes a hangover, so we're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna be getting rid of that. And we're going to do the same combination of floor pieces like we did over there. Again, that's going to be beachy wide floor one. Then we're going to take the beachy floor one, set that in just like that. Back to beachy thin floor one. We're going to snap two of those puppies in right there. And then finish it off with beachy thin floor three. Now at this point, we could start 
completing this box all the way around. So we'll go back to Beachy Thin, uh, I'm sorry, Beachy Wide Floor 2 to finish her off. All right, so before we finish the deck up here, I just need to collect the souls of the skeletons that I just absolutely obliterated. All right, great. So now that those are gone and put away, let's go ahead and grab some of these beachy thin floors where we're gonna proceed to create a box, like an inner box here that's going to go all the way around the perimeter of this square that we left open. These are gonna act as guidelines for the upper two post for where we're gonna start building up our two-story home. Now, you're gonna get to areas like this where the longer boards are not gonna work. Just simply go in and grab a different board and now as long as you have a one little square space in the corner here, that's completely fine. Now we're gonna go back to the larger piece. These are gonna cover a lot more distance, so we're gonna use these all the way until we can't. So that one fit in just perfect. And just repeat this until you have this finished around the entire perimeter. It's time to do our railings. Now, you can use any combination of these beachy railings. I like to start by using the uh, larger ones here and leaving the corners open for the corner pieces. Now, the reason I start with these larger ones is just because they simply cover more ground than the smaller ones to start. Now, you can see here, I did drop another staircase in here and I don't want these to cover my stairs, so I'm gonna have to go back to some of the smaller pieces and start to fit those in until we reach the edge of the stairs. So in this case, I'm gonna drop this railing one here and then I can grab the railing post. Now be careful to not go all the way over to your stairs because you do wanna leave room for these railings. So I'm gonna drop these in for right, right now just to show you what I'm talking about. Now you can come over one more post if you want to actually line it up like this. I think it looks a little bit more complete. We'll drop another one right here and then we can continue building out our rails. At this point, all we're gonna need to do is continue this around the deck till we have the front horseshoe section of it complete with the back wide open. So here's what it looks like when you have it finished and all the way around. Very nice look to it. Now, this part is gonna be optional. You can actually take this deck to the next level. I mean, totally unnecessary, but this is just how I like to do my builds. So I'm gonna show you just on this section here and show you the difference of one of these extra design tips that you can do. Now, we're gonna go into our supports and we're gonna grab these Beachy Beam 3s. We're gonna drop one lined up directly with the top of the wall there. And then we're gonna grab the smaller beachy beam, which is the beachy beam two. And we're gonna tuck it right in just like this. Now, it does cover up this little detail here, but watch this. Now you can go down into your beams and take this beachy bracket and you can tuck this right under here into the corner. Just like this now in my opinion it gives it a lot more of a finished detailed look so personally I plan on doing this around the entire deck now if you want to do it go for it if you like the better this design a little bit better then you can do that as well I'm just trying to give you a little bit more of a variety of things you can do or to think about in these tutorials moving forward after all it's all about improving and adding a little bit more detail to our builds to make them come to life all right, so one other thing to mention for this part is you'll notice when you get closer to the stairs here, you're gonna run into a situation where it doesn't meet up. There are not parts that can span across this distance equally. So what you're gonna wanna do is you can grab this beachy railing and just line it up with the bottom and plug it in just like that. And now you have that gap filled in. From here, again, all you need to do is go back to this beachy bracket and drop it right on the underside here right in the corner, just like that. 
All right, so let's take a step back here and see which ones we like better. Now on the right hand side is the modified version that I came up with. And on the left side is just using the regular support walls and the support design I showed you a moment ago. In my opinion, I like the right side better. I think it looks a lot more complete, much more detailed and a lot sturdier than just using the left. But you can decide for yourself which one you like the best. All right, so for this next part, we're actually gonna build the underneath area, which is gonna be good for storage, and it's going to house our boat launch. Now, we're gonna start by going into our wall section, and we're gonna grab the beachy corner. Now, we're gonna put this one right up against this post here. Now, the ground might be a little bit lower, so we're gonna wanna snap it into the uh, floor above it, so that way it's making contact with the floor. Sometimes you could uh, put these up here or try to snap it into what's existing on the ground and you'll have a gap there. So just make sure you snap it into the floor like that. And we're gonna drop another one on this side here. Now again, this is gonna be lined up with this second beam in. So not this one, but the second one. And then make sure where you're placing it, the blue stripe is on the inside. Same thing here. Now that's one of the things that does make these builds tricky is they do have very, very specific details that if you don't pay attention to, can create a really weird pattern that's not gonna look good. All right, so now that we have both of those in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this beachy corner. And we're gonna drop this right against that one, just like that. We're gonna do another one on the other side. And then I wanna to explain to you why we're using these and not just snapping a normal wall in. So first thing is it actually creates this nice little blue line design on the outer edge. And also when we're building our wall out this way, we have to actually nudge it in just a little bit and snap it in like this. And the reason being is if we're trying to go flush up against this post here, we're gonna run into problems because of this little uh, support part right there. So we're just giving ourselves enough clearance to actually have this butt up against the white post and start building outward. Now, again, if you could see, like I said before, if you don't snap it into the floor above you, you will end up with these weird gaps. Now, at the end of the day, it's still going to look great. But for me personally, I like to make sure that there are no weird gaps like that in the build. So I'm going to make sure to snap these in up at the top. And now for this section, we're actually not going to put any windows on it whatsoever. We're just going to build these beachy wall fours all the way until we reach the outer edge here. We're going to repeat the exact same thing on the other side. So let's join this wall up against with that beachy corner that we put in. And then we're going to do the same thing by building these across just like this. Now, we're not gonna worry about the fact that that gap's there. I'm gonna show you how to take care of that. So we're just gonna grab the same wall. This is Beachy Wall 4, and we're just gonna tuck that right underneath this wall and make sure it lines up. So that's gonna bury itself right into the ground there and cover up any unnecessary gaps that you have down like that. So we'll just do that until those are completely covered. Come on to the other side and take a look. And just like that, all of the gaps are covered up. All right, now we can start finishing off the front of this wall. Now, you can do this any way you'd like, but one of the ways I do it is I just grab this beachy wall three, and I'm gonna place it right up against the white post we have there. And then from here, I'm gonna take the beachy wall two, and we're gonna snap that in. Then I'm gonna do a beachy wall one, followed by this beachy door one now from here we're just gonna grab beachy wall one and then you can take these beachy wall fours and just start building them across and then once we get here we're actually gonna break up all the blue a little bit we're gonna move over to our wall section again and this time we're gonna grab, uh, I don't know the name of it, it is Beachy Window 2. And we're gonna be able to snap one in like that, 
And then to finish it off, we're just gonna grab another combination of these different walls here. We're gonna do a three, and then we're gonna do a two, and then lastly, a one. Now it's time to build what I believe is the best part of this entire build, which is gonna be the two-story house that sits on top of this deck. Now we're gonna start this off by grabbing this beachy corner here. Now the important thing to note is that where we wanna initially place these two posts. The reason this becomes important is because as we build the walls across and back, when we put the roof pieces on top, it's going to join up perfectly in the center and we're not gonna deal with any of those weird, hard deal with gaps when it comes to putting roofs on homes. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna line it up directly in the corner right here, but then we're gonna notch over one and then we're gonna go back one and then we're gonna place it down. So you should have it looking just like this where the corner is actually hanging off just a tiny bit like that. And we're gonna repeat the exact same thing on the other side. So we're gonna take our beachy corner. This time though, we're gonna turn it <clears throat> so that way the pattern is facing the way we want it to we're gonna nudge it back and then we're gonna nudge it over one We're gonna drop that in So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our wall section And we're gonna get this beachy window two. Now there are two different styles of beachy window two. We have this one and we have this one I'm gonna refer to this one as the double and this one as the full We're gonna use the double So we're gonna place the double right now it doesn't snap in for some reason i feel like the snapping has been weird in this game so if that's giving you trouble just maneuver it until you're lined up with that post like that and then from here we're going to do a beachy corner again <clears throat> but this time we're going to make sure that the pattern of the blue is facing inward now we're going to grab beachy corner white which is this one right here we're going to snap that on the outside of the wall now we're gonna go back to the beachy corner and we're gonna flip it just like this now from here we're gonna go to beachy door 2 and we're gonna snap that right on the end here if it'll allow me to looks like it's not so we're gonna have to just manually nudge that over now we're gonna do the same pattern going to the right side so we're gonna go back to this beachy corner drop it just like that <clears throat> followed by the beachy white corner. Now another beachy corner here. We want it facing to the right and then back to our double window. We're gonna fit that nicely right in there just like that. So now that you have your front looking like this, one of the other things that we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna have a overhang over this door. So we're gonna set that up by putting these beachy corner white ones lined up directly in the middle here and the front wall is finished all right so our first story wall is done we're now going to move into building up the second story of this front part and the way we're going to do this is we're going to start by just grabbing the beachy corner again and we're just going to stack this one on top of here and then we can come on over to this side and drop another one up here and now <clears throat> instead of using the double window we're gonna go back to walls and we're gonna come on down to grab the full window here which is the beachy window too again I'm calling it full because it has a different pattern but the same name <clears throat> from here now we're gonna go back to this and we're, we're basically repeating the patterns just with a different window here and we're gonna snap this white pillar right in here to continue that white stripe moving up the center and now from here you can do whatever kind of wall or window you want here now we're gonna just use a solid blue wall for this one because like I said I'm gonna build basically a overhang that sticks out and using the roof pieces and the gables it's gonna cover this up anyway so putting a window there is gonna look kind of odd but feel free to do that if you like that better but once you've got that in now we're gonna put the white post here and just repeat with the beachy corner. Now again, we're gonna wanna flip this over to match the pattern that we're working with here. And then last but not least, we're gonna grab another one of these full windows and just stack that right in here on top. All right, so now our front wall is complete. 
All right, so once again, not a Haskins tutorial without some night recording. We're just going to have to roll with it. So good thing I have the torch with me today so we can actually see what we're doing. Um, but this is where the point in which you're going to want to build your stairs upward. I'm actually going to share a very important building tip for you all right now. And that is starting to build your roof before you place all of your walls. Now, the reason I'm suggesting doing this is just simply because you do not want to try to put all of your walls in before you understand where the roof is going to end. <clears throat> so for this particular build, <clears throat> we're also not going to just stack the corners right here. There's a really cool part under supports that we used already down on the decking. And it's right here in the supports under beams, which is called the beachy bracket. Now these things get a little weird when trying to get these snapped into the positions that we want. As you can see, as I'm moving it around, it's not really liking and it's not accepting it to snap into the post. So you kind of got to try one of the sides. It'll eventually work. So this is exactly where we're going to want to have this placed. It's going to be just on the inside of that actual white stripe that's running up your corner. Now, the really important thing too here is that you want to make sure that they're lined up with the top of your walls like I'm showing you right now. And then we're going to want to try to get another one right here on the edge. But you can see how it's not working. So that's going to be pretty frustrating when trying to work with these pieces. Now, what I suggest doing at this point is moving over to your roof um, section and grab this corner here. So this is going to call, be called the beachy hip. Now, <clears throat> we're going to stack this right on top of here. It doesn't snap very well. So once you get it up there, you're just going to notch or I'm sorry, you're going to nudge it over. It is very this is tricky. So bear with me here. You're going to nudge it over until it's actually reaching the edge of that white piece that like is underneath the actual roof part. Now, once you have it here, we're going to want to move it towards us four spaces. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and we're going to drop that bad boy in there. Now, at this point, because you have the roof piece above you, you can go back to this support and you're going to be able to just snap this underneath and move it towards your support there. And again, you want to make sure it's just to the right and left of that center stripe going up the corner piece. Now we're going to drop that in. And again, just make sure that it's touching the bottom of your roof piece there. All right. So for this rest of this roof part, you're going to want to build some more staircases around the outer part of your deck. This is going to really help you with going up on top of the roof. And if you fall down, you could easily get back up. Um, we're going to start by doing the exact same thing we did on the right side to the left here. So let's just quickly repeat this step again. So that way, you know, if you're having trouble, you don't have to go back and rewind. So we're going to line this up with the top. Now I recommend positioning the stairs in a place where you can easily come out and make sure that that is lined up directly with the top of the wall. And again, making sure it's just to the right and left side of that blue stripe. Now we can attempt to see if this will go on here. But again, like I said, no matter how you try to nudge this piece here. Oh, actually i take that back look at that it worked so we're gonna line that up just like this it's very difficult using a joystick here so all right just like that all right just make sure that they're even you can look at the bottoms and, and come back up top here and we are lined up nice and good all right now we're gonna come down here this is easier to do this from on the deck here we're gonna go back to the beachy hip and we're gonna get this placed up there. For whatever reason, when you snap in now, it sometimes doesn't allow you to nudge. But again, we're gonna reach the outer edge here and then we're gonna move over one, two, three, four spaces and bam, drop that in there. A good way to tell you're good is you'll see like an even little almost diamond shape on the inside there. And just again, making sure that these supports are reaching the exact outer edge of the white piece underneath. Now from here, we're gonna head back up top and we should, if we, if I did this right, we should be able to drop um, beachy roof four. We should be able to get three of these fit perfectly in here. So we got one, two, and then a third one right here, just like that. <clears throat> and now here's where the magic happens, all right? This is the tip that I was gonna give you. Now from here, we're gonna start building our corners up. So we're gonna do four of these. This will be our second one. This will be our third one and this will be our fourth one what you can do is if you come down here you'll notice that piece where we left off is centered up with the the, the center of the house which is exactly what we want 
So that's a good way to determine how many of these you need to stack on top of each other before you stop. And we're gonna do the same thing right here. Again, this is the beachy hip. We're gonna put three more on top of the original one we put, so there we go. Now, perfectly lined up just like we like them. Now, at this point, you can start to snap these in and work your way down. So because we did four in the front part, we're gonna snap in four of these going down the back side here. Just like that. And here's our last one. And we're gonna do it again right here. Okay, so a little word of caution here. If you look up, you can see as I started to snap those in, this one was actually a little off center. So we're gonna need to run back up top and knock that one off. You can actually see when you get up here that you can see that it's slightly off there. So we're gonna knock this one off. And we're gonna go back to the hip and we're gonna try to snap this in right where it's supposed to go. So we're good there. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Again, this is gonna be four of them. So we've got one, two, three, four. We should be good. Uh, just double check this one more time. You want to see them in a straight diag or not. I'm sorry. You want to see these in a diagonal line just like that. And we're just going to make sure that they're all like that before we proceed with the remaining part of the roof. And it looks like we're good to go. Oh, doing this tip works a lot better with single story homes or even two story when you're not doing this added complexity of dropping in these little corners and having the roof hang over. So I'm gonna show you how we're going to add those and find where our wall needs to end. Now we're gonna go back to these beachy brackets and we're gonna line it up just like this on the outer edge and we're gonna nudge it over five times. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do the same thing, just turn the other way. So we're gonna line it up here and we go one, two, three, four, five. And now when you look up there, that's how it should be looking. And now rather than finding where our wall should end using the first floor, since our roof is up top, we're gonna start building our wall off of this section here. So we're gonna use the beachy full window here and we're gonna snap it right in to our corner. Then from here, we're gonna be using a, another beachy corner. That's gonna be this one here. And now we're gonna wanna turn it to where the blue is facing inside just like this. Again, we do this because we want the exact same space of blue on the right and left side of the window. That's again why I feel like these builds are a little bit more complex because of small details like that. So next we're gonna use this beachy wall too. And we're gonna snap, well actually you can't snap into here because the way we turned it. So you're gonna have to manually line that up just like that. And then once we've got beachy wall two, now from here we're gonna snap in a beachy wall four. Then we're gonna do another beachy corner and just make sure that the blue is facing the outside this time. And then we're gonna do another beachy window full. This is the beachy window two that we've just done on the other side. And then we're gonna finish this off by snapping in a beachy corner. Now again, we don't want it to look like this. We want to have the blue facing the inside just like that and line it up and boom just like that we have the roof and the wall lining up directly with where we want it to go now i'm going to reiterate this one more time i know i sound like a broken record but honestly doing it this way i found is a fail safe way to make sure that you're never going to build your entire structure and then not your have your, uh, and then not have your roof pieces lining up at this point we're going to make our way up top and we're going to finish off this roof we're going to be alternating between the beachy roof two and beachy roof four pieces here. These are going to fit nicely in here just like this. And then we can grab the beachy roof four and fit it right up the center just like this. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. The only difference here is these aren't going to fit the exact same way. Or actually they do. So you can do three on the bottom. You can do one in the middle like this, the beachy roof four, and then you can do this beachy roof two, just like this. Now from here, all we need to do is work our way around using the exact same pattern. Roofing never looked so easy. 
now at this point we're going to be able to jump down and finish the walls for our structure all right so now that we're back here on the deck we're going to finish the entire first floor now we're going to start by using the beachy window 2 and this is going to be that double design that you're seeing there followed by a beachy corner then a beachy wall 4 the wall 2 back to the corner and we're just going to make sure that that white stripe is lining up with that pattern we're going to grab another double window here and then we're going to finish the end here with this corner piece make sure again it's flipped to where the blue is on the inside all right so now we've got that good and lined up we can build our back wall now this is the point in which you could either choose to put your door on the center or the right and left sides for this particular design, we're going to move this door off to the left side. So we're going to want to follow the same exact pattern of width of the wall that we did in the front. All right, so actually this next part, we're going to start building the the rest of the first and the second floor. I find it'll be a little bit easier to keep your patterns consistent from bottom to top if you're doing them together. So we're going to use the beachy window too. Again, this is going to be that double window. We're going to snap that in just like that. Then we're going to go over to this uh, corner piece. Now, again, this one you're going to have to mess around with and not use snap because you want to turn it that way. Now, from here, we're going to do another corner, but this time we're actually going to use the uh, white corner here. So we're going to snap that in just like we did uh, for the door. I'm going to drop this right here. And then we're going to do a beachy window or i'm sorry beachy wall four for this next one just like that now we're going to follow that up with another corner and then we're going to go back to this corner this time we want it facing to the right just like that and now we can drop in another window And then lastly, we're just going to cap this off with this corner piece. Just like that. Now here, you can follow the same patterns, but we're going to alternate and use some different windows above here. We do this window. Like this. And one more right here. And then we're going to fill in the gaps with our corners. Flip like that one right here and lastly we're gonna do this right here now that gives a really nice bold pattern to the back of this house now you can either leave it like this and just have um, maybe a door on the side here or you can knock this out and have a door there but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this up a bit instead of the window here I'm gonna put a door in so I'm gonna knock that out and we're gonna go over to the walls and we're gonna go down to, I think it's beachy door three. This double wide one here on the back. We're gonna snap that in right there. So I don't want all my doorways to be directly centered on all my walls. So I'm gonna change it up a bit because this is gonna give us an opportunity to have a wall here where we can maybe decorate it or build a little grilling station or something like that. So always be mindful of the more windows you have, the less you have to be able to work with things up against the wall. So just think about that when you're designing these houses like this. All right, so if you made it this far, we are at our last wall for this building, but we are not done yet. So stick around because we got a lot more cool things to add on to this custom build. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with this beachy window too. We're gonna drop it just like that. Then we're going to grab this beachy door three, which is the double wide. And we're going to do that, right? Just like that. So it's centered with our stair set. Now, the way you can center it is just leave a gap off of there. Quite honestly, I could have just put this in place right here. But we're going to have to flip it just like that. We're going to do one more on this side of the door. Place that in. And we're going to grab one more of these like this. And then we're going to finish this up with a window here and then one of these just like that 
All right, it's getting hot outside, so we're gonna eat some of these snowberries before we finish the rest of this wall. Now we're just gonna go up top and we're gonna place this corner in just like that. And then here we're gonna move to these beachy window twos. These are the full. We're gonna go back to these corners. We're just gonna match, not like that. We are going to match the pattern that we had going on right there. So we're gonna flip this like that. And then we're gonna flip this back to the inside. And then here, instead of doing another door or a window, we're gonna put this beachy wall four, followed by another pillar. And then to finish the top, we're gonna go back to this beachy window two, the full size one. And just like that, the walls are in. At this point, I recommend doing a clean sweep around the outer edge because if you look, I forgot to put in these little beachy brackets underneath the roof on this corner. So go around and check to make sure you have all of those in. Again, you can just come over to your supports and go down to where there's the beachy brackets under the beams. And then we're gonna wanna snap these into the corner like that and just have them nudged off to just the right and left of that white stripe like we did for the other sets. And just like that, you should be good. So as you can see here, I have this lined up really nicely with the white piece that's attached to the roof hip and the additional roof pieces. So once we get that one snapped in, it's gonna be very easy to complete this around the outer edge. You're just gonna snap it into the other pieces and make our way all the way around until we reach the outer part here. And then once you get here, you can't really snap it back in. So I recommend getting on like this angle here and just slowly raising that piece up until it sits on top of that support and then just nudge it around until the piece turns green. And just like that, you can continue to do this all the way around the outside. And just like that, you should have the entire outer perimeter of your roof completely finished. Now, before we get to the overhang, I wanted to discuss one more optional thing you can do. If you notice on the right and left side of the front of this house, I added those beachy pillars that we use for our deck here, right into the corners here. So all you need to do to get those in is just line them up with the outside corner here, snap it in, and then just drop another one just like that. Now you can do these in the front and the back, or you can do them just in the front, or you don't have to do them at all. But again, I just wanted to show you another optional piece that you can add to your build to make it come to life. Now this part is my favorite design on this house, and that's going to be the overhangs. This is gonna take it from looking like a plain box like you're seeing right now, and give it some additional character. Now remember earlier in the video, we placed down these pillars right here on the right and left side of the doors. That's going to be our jump off point in which we're gonna grab beachy thin floor four, and we're gonna snap two of these right on top of those like that. And then from here, we're gonna grab the beachy thin, or um, beachy wide floor, and we're gonna snap it right in between those two, just like that. Now, the goal for this is gonna have this overhang on the deck to where we can drop our post down into the ground on the side of the stairs. So as you can see right now, it's not extended far enough out. So what we're gonna do next is go back to our plank floors, and we're gonna do a thin floor two on the end, just like this. If I can get it to snap in, just like that and then a thin floor three, and we're gonna do three of those. So we're gonna snap that in, do another one right here. And here. All right, so now we've got the platform that we need to start beginning to build our pillars down. Now the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go back over to supports and use beachy pillar and drop it right in the corner here. And then we're gonna just put one more here. And then to fill this thing out, you can use another one of those pillars, but I'm gonna use this beachy corner, just like that. Thank you. 
So to build the roof of this overhang, I recommend putting stairs right in the front of the house just like this because I found it to be easiest to attack this from a front angle. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna take Beachy Roof 3 and we're gonna line this up right with that outer edge of this piece here like that. Now we're gonna nudge it back until it turns red and then nudge it forward one. That way we know it's making uh, contact with the actual house. We don't want any un unnecessary gaps there. Next, we're just gonna snap another one in like that. And then we're gonna move over to Beachy Roof 2. We're gonna drop those in. And then lastly, we're gonna go over to our gables and put them right in like that. Now from here, you can attempt to jump up onto this corner and we're gonna put these top pieces in. So those are also gonna be in the roof section. And we're gonna find the matching pieces for the distance. So in this case, we used a three and a two. So we're gonna put the three on the back here. Then we're gonna grab a two. And then we're going to finish it off with this beachy ridge here, right on top of our gable, just like that. So you can do this overhang on the sides of the house too, but I'm gonna show you another option that you can do if you're not a fan of the roof pieces on the side. You can turn this into a minor, like little small walkout balcony. So we'll place down some stairs like this and we can knock out this middle wall. Now, when you knock this down, you're gonna be able to walk right out onto this section here. So. All we need to do at this point is grab some of our railings and just butt them up against the house. Drop a couple in like this. And just like that, you have a small walkout balcony. Now we're ready to put in our floors in which we're gonna start by using these beachy wide floor twos right here. Now, when you snap these in, just make sure that they're not snapped into the wall up top. You want them to be sitting right on the little notch that's hanging out, just like that. And we're gonna build these across. Now, when you get to the corners here, you're gonna have to use smaller pieces, but use these to start filling it in to begin with. Now, you'll notice around this outer edge here, it's not going to accept a beachy wide floor too. So you can go to Beachy Wide Floor 1 and start plugging these in. Now here, it's gonna be even smaller, so you're gonna move over to the, it's not the wide floor section, but the medium section, in which you can grab these Beachy Floor 2s and just start to plug these in. I should say snap them in. And then to finish the floor, we're gonna use Beachy Floor 1. Just like that. And now we have a nice tiny strip where we can use these Beachy Plank Floors and finish it off. Now when you get to the end here, you're gonna have to move to a smaller piece, which I believe is Beachy Thin Floor 3. Bam, and just like that, you now have your entire top floor ready to go. All right, so now we can build our deck that's going to extend off over into the ocean. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna grab the support walls that we used for the deck initially. Again, these are over in the wall section all the way towards the bottom. So you gotta scroll quite a ways to get to these. and. At this point, it's your own personal preference on how far out you're going to want to make this. But just for the tutorial's purpose, I'm going to show you how to build this out. One additional um, support. I think it looks really nice this way. It's not overkill. And it also gives you enough deck space up top. So that way you can decorate it the way you want. Put out some tables and different things like that. So once you've got those in, then all we need to do is come back to our wide floor pieces. Again, this is gonna be beachy wide floor two. We're just gonna snap it in just like we've done the other spots. Again, you wanna leave that overhang there for your rail and then start building this way. Now, just like most of the other parts of this build, when you get to this section, you're unable to put in that wide floor. So you're gonna go back to wide floor one 
You're going to drop one just like that. And then we're going to go to our plank floors. And we're going to fit in these beachy floor threes. Or I'm sorry, that's the thin floor. And then we're going to grab thin floor four and drop it just like that. Now at this point, you can do one of two things. You can finish off the railings or you can drop down here and finish off these supports. Now one thing I do recommend when building over water is taking your floor pieces and build out a platform in which you can stand on and start to build the actual remaining parts of this on the back side here. So we're gonna build a platform that extends to about here. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side when we're ready to build. The way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go back to our support pieces and use this beachy pillar and we're gonna add another post like we've done before so we're just gonna make this go all the way till it meets up just like that and then we're gonna extend these down using the beachy corners until we hit the bottom of the seafloor so once you've got that post and that support in now we're gonna just do one more here on the other side we're going to place one of these beachy archways just like that and then we're gonna cover up by snapping in here and extending that out just like that and then we're gonna drop one more on this end and then put these beachy corners until they hit the bottom Now, we're just going to repeat this exact same process on the other corner over there. All right, to finish these corners, it's going to be very simple. We're going to do beachy railing four. We're going to snap one in like this. We're going to turn it sideways and then another one here. And then all you need to do is go back to this beachy railing, the single piece. And we're just going to snap it right on the end like that. And this repeat this on the opposite side of your deck. And lastly, now we can just connect these by continuing our railings across here. So we're beachy railing four and just continue to snap these in till you meet this other side here. And then you're gonna just take these smaller pieces and fit them in just like that. And now your back deck is complete. All right, so now we're gonna start finishing off this boat launch section underneath our house. And all we're gonna do to start that is use the beachy corner. This is the white one. We're gonna snap it into the top of the ceiling like that and then fill in the gap just like that. And repeat that process over here on the other side. I already have that put in so we're not going to go over that and then we're going to now move into a window that we have not used in this build yet this is going to be the beachy window too and we're going to snap these into the ceiling just like this and we want to make sure that the actual parts that are hanging out there on the top the little floor supports are facing inward we're going to drop one there and we're going to fill in the gap down here with another one and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so again, up to the ceiling. Just make sure it's lined up with the post that you just put in on the right and left. And then we're gonna drop one more down here to close the gap. Now let's really bring this thing together. The details here matter. We're gonna do this beachy pillar too. And we're gonna drop it right in here. But we're gonna leave a little bit of space to the left of it on that wall there. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just like this and now if you're not a fan of the way that those gaps are here on the bottom you can actually use in the wall section we have these takeout corners these fit real nicely underneath just like that this is part of the Durr burger set so if you don't have that you can actually use um, in the building parts under the fences you can use these beachy railings too those are gonna work just fine all right, now we're gonna go across the top here with our beams and we're gonna start with beam two. And we're just gonna fit this in just like that. And then we're gonna alternate the pattern by putting that little stripe just like that. And then once you get to the end here, you're gonna have to fill it in with a smaller piece. So we're gonna use this beachy beam one and fit that in just like that. And now you have your opening. It's almost like a garage door type of look, um, but this is where the boat launch is gonna go. 
And now to build the boat launch deck, this is a very simple process. We're gonna come back to the beachy wide floor too. And then we're going to align this, this is gonna be too wide. So we wanna line that up. And we're gonna actually sink this into the water just a bit, just like that. Now the way I'm getting this centered is I'm paying attention to this little stripe up above here. And I'm doing my best to make sure that where these two floor pieces meet, it's just centered on that and you have even space on both sides. Now, if it's slightly off, that's not going to be that big of a deal. But if you want it perfectly centered, just mess around with that until you get it right. And then we're just going to drop in two more like this. Now, to finish this thing, we're going to be using some posts and some fence pieces. Now, we're going to start by dropping this into the water here. And we're going to put one right on the end there. And if you want to keep these the same heights on the other side, you're going to be dealing with uneven seafloor. So we're just going to snap it in and nudge it back like this until we can't anymore. We're just going to continue doing this until we reach that corner. And now we are just going to snap it in here and just drop it back to where we've got our corner. And then you can come through and just knock these out. We don't want those there. Those are going to be in the way. And you can do the same thing by creating more of these we're just going to nudge it over 14 spaces so we'll count that out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and then on the same thing on the other side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so we're going to go back to the railing section and we're going to be using these beachy railings i'm just going to line it up with the corner there i'm going to drop one there i'm going to drop one on this side kick back one more now if you don't like the way that that's hanging over the edge there you can move back to these smaller pieces like we've done in all the other sections and just start to place these in and then we'll do just a couple more right here to create a little opening and then we can finish them off with this railing pillar just like that you have your little boat launch section down here with these garage doors and I did also put in a stair set here that way you can access it from your house but I love the look of this let's take a look from the outside here so that's what she's looking like from the outside very very nice detail good and centered very aesthetically pleasing look now, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this build. I want to let you know these take a lot of time and energy to put out for all of you. So I hope you appreciate them. And if you'd like to continue supporting me being able to do this, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe so you never miss another video again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one.